everybody, I'm back! We are in the lovely county of Norfolk and it is peeing it down with the rain. Down visiting relations and thought I would get out and see if we can get some images uh, which is not looking too promising at the moment but we shall see. Now as you may have gathered from my last video, I live in Yorkshire so coming down to sunny Norfolk is a wee bit of a contrast to say the least. It's flat. It's very flat. Flat. Norfolk's famous for its flatness. It's also famous for windmills the North of Broads and its desolate, deserted beaches. I must say, I'm partial to a windmill, but they're all up in North Norfolk, and I'm not in North Norfolk. I'm in South Norfolk, South East Norfolk. So, I'm going to the beach. I'm going to Southwold. Last time I went to Southwold was 20 years ago. It was a stinky, boiling hot day. And from what I remember, it's a shingle pebble beach. So the light's flat, it's misty, it's raining, it's dull. And it's crying out for black and white. Ooh, Maria, come Maria. So, watching my last videos uh, with the critic eye, uh, I think uh, technically they could be a little bit better sound quality uh, was not good uh, so we've invested in a muff just seen a really interesting uh, possible shot which often happens when you're driving somewhere else uh, some windmills with some mist at the base back like that i drove around and tried to get towards the windmills and it's in quite a build-up area it's actually next to the uh, bird and matthews factory um, and there's no real good vantage point for a, uh, a decent composition so uh, we're on our way back to Southwold to try and make things a little bit more interesting and also for me to have a little bit more fun um, we're going to take some aerial shots of the places that I go to uh, shoot my images uh, this is going to have uh, two benefits or three actually number one I'm going to enjoy it number two um, I think it's going to make the videos a little bit more immersive uh, for you guys that are watching and number three if you do think of going to an area that I've taken pictures at um, you'll get more of an idea of a possible composition and also the surrounding area that may give you a little bit more inspiration because I think uh, shooting uh, landscape photography is all about inspiration certainly the reason that I get out of bed in the morning when I want to go uh, for a shoot. Now did I mention that Norfolk's a wee bit flat? Well it is but it's also a beautiful county uh, and again looking online people say oh Norfolk what's the point in going there uh, it's flat there's no opportunities for landscapes again absolute bunkum if you've got a camera and uh, you've got an idea of what makes a good image I think you can get a good landscape photograph anywhere other than the brick factory at Porthway. If you watch one of my last videos, you'll know what I'm talking about there. Lots of pig farms. Lots of pig farms. We're going past a pig farm now. Norfolk seems to be famous for pigs. Again, always look out for opportunities when you're out. The picture might present itself. Because everybody says, look behind you, because what's in front of you might not be the best shot. Now I grew up in the 80s. weather indeed and I don't 
feel too bad because there's a guy out surfing. It's November and I'm out here with my camera and he's out surfing. I don't know who, oh sugar, this is really, really slippy. Show you where we are. Oh, I tell you what, it's like ice and pretty interesting uh, landscape we've got because we've got driftwood we've got sand we've got rocks we've got haze and we've got cliffs well eroded sandbanks more like but it's looking more promising that's the pier so that's the pier over there that everybody takes pictures of I'm not taking pictures of the pier today I'm walking down here away from the pier so it's time to jump Right, that's nearly hammering it down with rain. Uh, we're going to take a shot this direction. It's going to be the shot. I'm not going to show you setup. I'm going to set up, fire a few shots off, and then have a chat afterwards. And I don't know whether the tide's coming in or going out. interesting uh, we'll put the shots in for you to have a look at the weather is foul horrendous and it's toss up whether or not we even put this video in uh, this is what we're dealing with weather wise top storm I'd love to shoot that way well we're just not going to get the shot because the uh, spray is coming directly into my face and we'll end up with another sea spray disaster or in this case rain disaster because uh, it's too windy and too nasty but there's a right squall coming in oh, I've got the tripod in my hand uh, see whether or not this wind muff works properly and uh, we'll see what images we get when we get back home into a nice warm house and a cup of tea oh it's freezing so we're back in the car the first thing I'm going to do is dry the camera off I know that the the weather sealed uh, but I wasn't expecting it to be that bad I do have a rain a rain cover for it but I did protect it as much as possible while we we're out there and dried it off in between shots uh, and it's not too too bad at all to be honest but all joking apart you got to look after your kit uh, and make sure that it keeps dry and clean especially when you're in um, or next to the sea because the moisture or the rain is going to have a large amount of sea salt or salt in it so we've just given that dry off so uh, when we get home we'll allow the camera bag to sit for a while with the camera inside it 
uh, before we remove the camera so the camera gets back to room temperature. The changes in temperature will cause condensation, especially with it being wet. Just like it's doing inside the car at the moment. So the sun is dropping, we're on our way back home. Um, gonna be time for a whiskey and a cup of tea. If you like the video, please subscribe and I'll keep making more. Thank you.